Well, it is, it is, it is an example of what permafrost does. Yeah. It melts and it settles your hole whichever way it wants to twist it. Well, I'm Ruth Macchioni and this is my home. And uh, we, I live in Fair, outskirts of Fairbanks, Alaska. I'm uh, Vladimir Romanovsky and I'm a professor in geophysics at the Geophysical Institute of the University of Alaska Fairbanks. Also, I'm a professor at the Department of Geology and Geophysics. Couldn't hardly live in it no more. That's why that new house came up. I had everything blocked up, you know, to level, like your table, your refrigerator, your stove, all that. I had to have the bathroom redone downstairs. And uh, yeah, a lot of work. To completely throw even warm permafrost like it is here in Fairbanks, um, which is minus one or, or warmer, it takes hundreds, hundreds of years. And good example is exactly this site, where it, permafrost started to thaw because of disturbance, because it was forest, it was removed, and now it's agricultural kind of field. And it, it happened in a, a very late 30s, early 40s. And so it's how many years? 70 years now. Yeah, it will be 55 uh, next year. Mm -hmm. in the house, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 70 years of thawing of permafrost uh, develop 11 meters of non-frozen layer. Uh, from 11 to about 40 meters, it's still permafrost there. This house is solid. Why is that? Why is that? Because they did a different foundation, and plus, when before they built, they drilled down to see where the frost line was. On the back side, the corners, the two corners back there was 37 feet down before they hit frost. And up here it was 27, the front. So we, we did a little bit of drilling when yes. Peter decided to build there. Well, we found that it's actually in the, in the forest, permafrost is pretty shallow. It's maybe six feet only. But in the opening, it's already down there and it's, it's thawing, so. And well, it probably will be stable if it will be kept like this but what I said that just try to not get any water under the building because that could make big big damage there if it's open during the winter of course you need more heat to warm up house but it keep ground more stable uh -huh. uh, so by allowing it to be colder actually it looks more stable yeah but it'll freeze it'll push up when it freezes mm -hmm. It'll push up, because I could hear the door, you know, it gets tight and shut, mm -hmm. on the outside door especially. And, mm -hmm. um, and then when it thaws, it settles back down to where yeah. it was. If one corner will be, say, moving not the same rate as other corners, you can jack it and, and you level it. Now a new house is built on Tomfors this way. I see a lot of them over this right. way. They're still standing nice and straight mm -hmm. over on Kitty Wake. And yeah, that. yeah. So that's mm -hmm. that's new, new way to design and build. And There's always something changing. Hope, hope, hopefully, it will work for longer. Mm -hmm. Your lifetime, anyway. Yeah. Let <laughs> someone else deal with it. <laughs> <laughs>